All right, it is one o'clock, so it's time to get started. I want to say thank you for coming to our afternoon Thanksgiving and praise service. Thankful that our friends from Crossroads Baptist Church are here as well. Good to have you guys here. Something new, uh, we've always had a after Thanksgiving afternoon service of you know, special music. Uh, this year we thought we'd try something a little bit different and hope you'll enjoy that. Uh, but before we go, seeing how there's no preaching this afternoon, I do want to begin by reading a passage of scripture t- talking about praise unto the Lord. Psalm 148 says, Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels, praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon, praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons, and all the deeps. Fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word. Mountains and hills, fruitful trees and all cedars. Beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl. Kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth. Both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. And what better way to start that this afternoon by singing, Behold Our God. We're going to ask you to stand if you could, and Brother Down, come lead us and Behold Our God. Father, we thank you so much for your wonderful blessings. We thank you so much for your grace. Lord, we thank you so much for just uh, uh, being here in this service, Lord. And I pray that your Holy Spirit, Lord, will work in our hearts and uh, just teach us what you need us to learn tonight. In your wonderful name we pray. Amen. You may be seated.
by the world's standards, he was just a poor old farmer working in the field. His arms were frail, his shoulders bent with years of labor and exertion. Time had etched deep lines into his weather-beaten face, but he had a smile on his face and a song in his heart. One day as he worked, a long limousine drove down the dusty road by his farm. Very faintly, the owner of the car thought he heard someone singing. He was curious, so he ordered the chauffeur to stop. The man stepped out and listened as the old man sang. Those were the strangest words the rich man had ever heard. He called out to the farmer, So you're a child of the king? Then why doesn't your father give you some better land? Why doesn't he give you some better clothes to wear? And look at your plow. Why, it's almost worn out. And that old farmhouse of yours? If your father is really a king, why doesn't he give you a better house in which to live? The farmer paused and looked at him for a minute, smiled, and without saying a word, turned down the next furrow, singing these words. able to stand we're going to sing our second congregational praise him praise him praise him praise him jesus our blessed redeemer Sing over this wonderful song of faith. hail him hail him highest archangel sing glory strength and honor give to his holy name like a shepherd, Jesus. 
Jesus will guard his children. In his arms he carries them all day long. Praise him, praise him, tell of his excellent greatness. Praise him, praise him, ever in joyful song. Praise him, praise him, Jesus our blessed Redeemer. For our sins he suffered and bled and died. He our rock, our hope of eternal salvation. Hail him, hail him, Jesus the crucified. Sound his praises, Jesus who bore our sorrows. Love unbounded, wonderful, deep and strong. Praise Him, praise Him, tell of His excellent greatness. Praise Him, praise Him, ever in joyful song. Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus our blessed Redeemer. Heavenly portals, loud with those and us ring. Jesus, Savior, reign forever. Crown him, crown him, prophet and priest and king. Christ is coming over the world victorious. Power and glory unto the Lord belong. Praise him, praise him, tells of his excellent greatness. Praise him, praise him, never in joyful Amen. You may be seated. See you. 
A 93-year-old man was in the hospital during COVID. His doctor put him on oxygen. After he had recovered and the oxygen was no longer needed, his doctor handed him his bill. The old gentleman began to cry. The doctor, thinking the old man could not pay the bill, said, if you can't pay, we'll figure out a way to help you. Oh no, said the man, I can pay. I'm crying because I've breathed God's air for 93 years and never paid a cent. I need to be more thankful for my blessings. Let this story be a reminder that we need to thank the Lord for the multitude of blessings that we so often take for granted. When upon life's pillows you are tempest-tossed, when discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord hath done. Count your blessings, name them one by one, count your blessings, sing what God has Blessings, see what God hath done. When we look at others with their lands and gold, think the promise to his wealth untold. Count your many blessings, money cannot buy. Your reward in heaven or your home on high. Count your blessings, name them one by one. whether great or small. Do not be discouraged, God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort give you to your journey's end. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, even the God of 
of our salvation. Next song we're going to sing, You Are Always Good. Think about how good God is to you as we sing these words. Looking back, I can see your fingerprints upon my life. I'm seeking my best. There were times when your way would make no sense, but found herself seriously ill in the outpost where the Lord had stationed her. To add to her sorrow, her check had not arrived and she was forced day after day to do without the good food she needed and to live on a miserable diet of oatmeal and canned milk. In spite of everything, the lady missionary got better and after 30 days of steady oatmeal diet, she finally got her check and was able to get something different on the table. During her illness, she had a little sneaking suspicion that the Lord was not doing her right. When furlough time came, she told of her great trial to an eager audience. At the close of the meeting, a kindly doctor inquired as to the nature of her ailment. On hearing what the digestional malfunction was, he said, well, if your check had arrived, you would not be here talking to me today. And the diet we always prescribe for that trouble is a 30-day oatmeal diet. As a Christian, have you ever felt like God had you on an oatmeal diet? When we are tempted to complain, let us remember that God's delays all have a specific purpose for our good. Rejoice in the Lord. God never moves without purpose or plan. When trials Oh, 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to sing a medley of different songs. And uh, these are songs about things to be thankful for as we sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's Word. Isn't Jesus, my Lord, wonderful? Life has purpose now it never had before. There is meaning to each day and even more. For a joy and peace I can't explain as well. 
Since I found new life in Christ my Lord divine Oh isn't it wonderful to be a Christian Oh it is wonderful to be God's child Oh it is wonderful to have your sins forgiven Oh it is wonderful to be redeemed Justified forever reconciled I can go directly to the Lord in prayer He has told me I may boldly enter there And He listens as His promises I cling I find mercy there and grace for every need Oh, it is wonderful to be a Christian Oh, it is wonderful to be God's child. Oh, it is wonderful to have your sins forgiven. Oh, it is wonderful to be redeemed, justified, forever reconciled. And the hope of heaven's glory thrills me so. With Christ forevermore, I know. That is why the things of earth I loosely hold. I've eternal riches better far than gold. Oh, it is wonderful to be a Christian. Oh, it is wonderful to be God's child. Oh, it is wonderful to have your sins forgiven. Oh, it is wonderful to be redeemed, justified forever. We thank Thee for the morning light, for rest and shelter through the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for all Thy goodness sends. Our God is great, our God
seek your kingdom first. I will trust all that you do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I rejoice in you. When peace like a
that will sing out of a heart of gratitude for all that God has done for us. So why don't we stand and we'll sing Grace that faith. dismisses in prayer uh everybody if when we're done when he's done praying if we could go out in the foyer and over in the fellowship hall to talk and everything because the choir does have practice right afterwards pastor towns will you close the prayer our heavenly father we thank you for your great faithfulness Amen. lord your mercy your love the gift of salvation your mercy that endureth forever lord all of these things remind us of how faithful you are and how grateful we are Lord, I pray as we leave this place that we would do so with a grateful heart, that yes. we would do, do it with a, a voice of thanksgiving, with lips of praise. Lord, every day this week, we will tell you how great you are, Amen. how worthy you are. And Lord, our love for you is uh, unexplainable, something we can't even put to words. So, Father, I pray our heart would open, and thanksgiving would pour out. Bless your name, and thank you for a wonderful day in church. Now, as we go our ways, I pray for your safety and peace about us. Help us to follow your will. 